regarding the wiring between the motor and the drive motherboard. Please refer to the previous course, which will not be repeated here. This lesson introduces the CAN connection and port test method between the MKS Cannibal V1.0 and the drive motherboard. We connect the MKS Cannibal V1.0 with the drive motherboard using DuPont cables. Pay attention to each port when connecting. Next, we use the USB data cable to connect the MKS Cannibal V1.0 to the PC. Finally, we connect the drive motherboard to the PC with a USB data cable. This is the module MKS Cannibal V1.0 we use. This is the schematic diagram of the connection between the CAN module and the drive motherboard. Software can be downloaded from the MakerBus MKS GitHub. Download the files required for the test. First we open the command terminal and send a drive to. Then send the following command to configure the CAN node ID of axis 0. Send the following command to configure the CAN communication baud rate. Send the following command to save the settings. Finally, send the following command to restart the drive motherboard. Now a drive CAN pin configuration is complete. First we open the CAN debugging assistant. Then use the shortcut K5 to enter the configuration page. Select candle 0. Set the baud rate. Finally click Octo save the configuration. Now the CAN debugging assistant configuration is complete. You can see that the Zundrix indicators of Cannibal V1.0 are on. First, we enter 207 in the input field, and enter 04 in byte 1 of payload. Click send single. About 2 seconds after sending this command, the drive motherboard emits a beep sound. First, we enter 207 in the input field and enter 07 in byte 1 of payload. Click send single. After sending this command, the motor will make one turn in the front and another turn in the reverse direction. First, we enter 207 in the input field, and enter 08 in byte 1 of payload. Click send single. After sending this command, the motor will enter the closed loop mode. First, we enter 20B in the input field, and enter the following bytes in payload. Click send single. After sending this command, the motor will enter position control, general input mode. First, we enter 20B in the input field, and enter the following bytes in payload. Click send single. After sending this command, the motor will enter position control, trapezoidal trajectory mode. First, convert the float data 50 to 4 byte hexadecimal data by the tool. Then enter 20C in the input field, and enter the following bytes in payload. Click send single. After sending this command, the motor will rotate forward 50 times. First, convert the float data 0 to 4 byte hexadecimal data by the tool. 
Then enter 20C in the input field. And enter the following bytes in payload. Click send single. After sending this command, the motor will reverse 50 times. First, we enter 209 in the input field, and enter 10 in byte 1 of payload, and check the ATIA option. Click send single. The command is executed successfully, and the position speed data is returned. We open the tool and convert the floating point number of the position and speed data in the tool. The first four bytes are position data and the last four bytes are speed data. First, we enter 217 in the input field, and enter 10 in byte 1 of payload, and check the ATIA option. Click send single. The command is executed successfully, and the bus voltage data is returned. We open the tool and convert the floating point number of the position and speed data in the tool. The first four bytes are bus voltage data. First, we enter 216 in the input field. Then click send single. After sending this command, a drive will restart, and the motor will rotate forward one circle and then reverse one circle for calibration. This is all of lesson. Thank you for watching.